Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Closet Module Version 2 video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new closet module and all the fun new features that we've added to it. So to get started here, we're going to jump right down, open up a design, I have one right here, and we're going to get going. Now I'm, I'm using the closet catalog for this. And we've got a few catalogs available already with the closet. We're working on a few more. If you've got a manufacturer that does closets with their kitchen cabinets, go ahead and uh, ask them to send us all their information. We'll create closets for them as well. Here we've got our closet module, so we're going to click on that to open it. We're going to run through all these little things up here real quick. Of course, it starts off, we've got open and save template, we've got zoom in, um, zoom out, zoom to fit, insert sections, our insert section, this is how you actually create the, the module. Um, you can insert sections one at a time or all the way up to ten at once. Um, you can insert these before or after the modules you already have chosen. You've got delete section, cut section, copy section, paste section, delete component, and select component. These two here work in tandem. Whatever is showing up here in your little component drop down box, and you can pull it up and choose whatever you need out of there. Um, and that would be what, what, whatever would be highlighted on your layout down here and they would delete just that component. Um, we've got open attributes and then you've got delete or undo. Here. So here's our closet, this is our little closet wall here. You can see I've got a closet wall, we're in our closet tab. My wall is 96 by 96. Well, you'll notice if I zoom in here that we're 99 inches. So I'll show you how to change that here in a minute. We can simply change it here but I want to set it as part of the wall where currently it is not. Um, we've got actions of place it wall, align left, right, set margin, add molding. We've got a sync plan. What that's going to do for us is if you, when you place a module, it will add it here. It will also show it on our layout at the same time. Now, if you're running an older computer or a laptop that has limited system resources, you'll want to uncheck the uh, sync plan and it'll run faster for you. And then you can, you know, create them all, sync them all up at once. Okay, so our defaults, this is actually our module sizing. And these are manufacturer specific, so we, we set those in there to mimic what your manufacturer creates. Um, you can do these floor standing or wall mounted. If you do wall mounted, you can choose your bottom clearance here, so you can set it up off the floor. You can add shelves at top and bottom, and you can place toe kick. Some manufacturers have variable sizes of toe kick that are available. In this case, we only have five inches available. Um, section. This will show us our module skew and size. Left vertical panel will show us the skew and the size, and right vertical panel will show us the skew and size. Another actions button. We can set left panel, remove left panel. Same thing for the right. We can lift section, drop section, change width place corner section and we can bridge to another closet. I know I'm going over this fairly fast, but we're going to we're going to actually create a closet so you can see how it works. Doors. We can add doors to our closet modules. Um, you can um, choose a door. It will show you the doors that are the proper size to fit your module. Um, then you can do left, right or a pair and you can do them upper or lower. You can also insert a fixed shelf under those. So if you insert an upper door, they'll insert that shelf at the bottom of it. So you've got a bottom to that. If you insert a lower door, it'll add that shelf to the top of it so that you have a top to that little section. And then you've got use alternate catalog options and our other catalogs that are available. We've got Canyon Creek, we've got Jim Bishop, we've got Closet Catalog, we also have Wellborn available, and we've got a couple others that are coming out. So in this case, we're going to use my closet catalog because that's what I'm designing from. Go to our shelves. We can do adjustable shelves, fixed shelves, shoe shelves, or we can choose shelves from a catalog. We've got a count. We can do auto, um, or we can do 1 through 10. Now, if you do auto, you can choose your interval, interval, and it will place in there however many shelves will fit at a 12-inch spacing in the size of the module that you have. You can place them evenly, you can place them upwards or downwards. And this would be if you were using a fixed number of shelves, say three shelves. You could do them evenly throughout the module 
you could space them upwards, which would be from the bottom up, and downwards using your interval. We can add dividers, and then you can insert shelves and dividers off of those buttons. Hardware, we've got um, use suspension rail or panel hangers. So you can choose your suspension rail options. You can choose your panel hanger options. You can add support fillers if necessary. And then the update hardware and bill of materials, what that does is once you click that, figures out all the hardware you need for your closet, updates it in your bill of materials for pricing. Okay, so we're ready to get, get placing here. So the first thing we want to do is I'm going to want to set this wall to match my wall here because currently it is too small. Now again, I can come up here and set it as 99 inches, click set, and it'll make this 99 inches. However, that does not tie it with my wall. So when you place modules up here, it won't sync and show them down here. So I have to tie that manually. So to tie that, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go place a wall. I'm going to highlight my wall. That's just a single right click. And I'm going to click apply. You'll notice I'm 99 inches now. I'm going to move to my defaults tab. And I'm going to choose the size that I want to start with here. We're going to start with a 30 inch. I'm going to do that 19 inches deep. And I'm going to do it 84 inches tall. Now I actually want two of these. So I could come up here, whoops, wrong button. Push my add module button once. It's going to add one. And again, it will add two. If you notice here, I've got a yellow colored one and I've got a clear one. By simply clicking on it, it'll move it from one to the next. And that's my selection. That is the, the one I have selected. So anything I wanted to do, if I wanted to add shelves, add rods, whatever, it would go into this one. But in this case, I actually want to delete it. So I'm going to delete section, delete section. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to choose two. Now I'm going to click once. And there's my two modules. All right. Now my next module, I'm going to change the size on that. I want my next module to be 36 inches wide. I want to leave the rest of the settings the same. I only want one of them because obviously two of them is too big because I only have 36 inches. So I'm going to click there. And there's my 36 inch. Now... Because I have a big U-shaped closet here, I want to come around this corner. Well, in, in 2D up here, there's no way to come around that corner. So I'm going to create a new closet for that. So to create a new closet, we just come click on our module. Here we've opened a new closet. I'm going to zoom out. Again, this is with my mouse button. This is just by pushing forward on my mouse. It zooms out. Same as in everything else in Pro Kitchen. You'll notice it's 99 inches. It's a little bit bigger than this wall. So we want to go back on my my closet I want to place at wall choose my wall click apply now it's 73 and 13 16 we're ready to go I'm ready to set my first section so I want to make a corner piece here I want this one to be 24 inches wide I'm going to change it to 14 inches deep instead of the 19 inches deep that we had in these others and I'm going to set my height at 84 so that it matches I'm going to come to my section and I want to bridge to another closet for this instance. So I'm going to click Apply. Gives me my default size, which I already choose over here under my default tab. I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask me for which bridge support option I want to use. I'm going to use the 15 bridge, or the whatever that bridge support is. And I'm going to choose OK. Now it asks me if I want to align this to another closet. If I slide this off the side a little bit, you can see that it's kind of overwrite overriding my my corner here it's kind of mashed up you can see it's how it's there so I do want to align this to another closet I'm going to choose yes bounces it right down puts it right in the place that it should be I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here so I can see my whole layout there we go I'm going to zoom in just a little bit on this one so I can see my whole layout okay so now we're down here, and my next section is a corner section. So I'm going to add a corner. So in this case, place corner section, apply. It's going to ask me how big I want that section. 30 is perfect, so I'm just going to choose OK. I can do radius shelves or diagonal. I'm going to choose diagonal and OK. And here's my corner section. So now I want to finish my closet by doing this wall. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to create a new closet. I am going to go back to my closet um, tab. Place it wall is already there, so I'm going to highlight my wall. Click apply. Zoom out just a fuzz. It's 99. It's perfect. Just what I want. And I'm going to start adding my 
closet here. So first one I want to add, we're going to go, um, we're going to make it 30 inches wide. We're going to leave it at 14, but I want to change the height. I want to set it at 84. Okay, and now I want to click on my add module. And here's my closet. And you're looking down here going, okay, that didn't work. Look, it over, it's on top of that. That's right. That's, that's working just fine. We're not quite done with it yet. So now I'm going to come over here to my section. And I am going to, whoops, I don't want that. I want closet. Place it wall. I want set margin. So I'm going to set my, well, let, let, let's do a line left and right first. So if I wanted to align this left, I would click align and apply. And it's already to the left. Come on. Align right, apply, and you'll see it sticks it over here to the other side of my wall. We're going to use add margin. Whoops, I don't want that yet. I want to align left. You've got to do this right. Align left, there it is. Now I'm going to add margin, set margin, apply. What, is my, what do I want my margin to be? Well, this corner section is 30 inches, so I want my margin to be 30 inches. Okay. There it is. Adds in just like it should. I've got one more module to add here. Um, so I'm going to go back to my defaults. This module needs to be 36 inches wide. I'm going to change the height on this guy just, just to show you how it works. That's the purpose of this. Wall mounted. Let's set that guy 24 inches off the floor. Sounds like a good spot to me. I do want to add the shelves top and bottom. And so I'm going to add. And there's my little raised up little closet section. Okay, so here's my little closet section. I've got all four sections, all four, all three sections in there. I'm going to take a 3D. Take a look at it. And it's just three modules or a bunch of modules, empty. Kind of boring, kind of narrow. You might want to do a little bigger closet than this for your customer. Okay. So, now we're ready to start adding features. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to this closet. So, we're just going to right click on it. going to choose closet number four. And we're going to choose edit. Here's my closet. So, with our first section here, I want to add some shelves. So, let's add some fixed shelves. We're going to add them automatically with a 12 inch placement. Insert shelves. 12 inch coming up from the bottom. If I don't like this top shelf here, because it's kind of in the way, I mean, I can't reach it. Well, I can reach it. I'm sorry. I am tall enough to reach it, but how are you going to... Okay. We're just going to delete it. You'll notice it showed up up here. One fixed shelf. Number nine. It's got all my fixed shelves in here, so I can choose whatever shelf I would like. But I want number nine, and we're going to delete. There we go. Looks much better. Much more functional. If I want to move a shelf up and down, I just go click on it. And it does help to zoom in a little bit. Hold down your left mouse button. Move your mouse up and down. You can move your mouse side to side. It'll definitely take it off of there. Screw things up. So you want to leave it set up in there. Put my shelves back in. I could undo it. Undone function, but, you know, I'm lazy that way. Okay, so I've got all my shelves. Now I want to do something different in this next section. So this next section... Uh, let's add some shelves over here because my shelves are already set up, ready to go. Uh, let's do shelves a little bit differently over here. Let's choose five shelves. I want to place them upwards from the bottom, and I want my bottom dimension to be 15 inches. And insert shelves. There we go. You might want to actually, you know, do some math in your head before you do some of these so you don't end up with goofy little shelves like that, but that's okay. Delete that shelf. Didn't need it anyways. For this section, let's say we want to add some doors. So we're going to go to my doors. Come down here. Oh, no doors are available. Oh, no. What's wrong? How come? Think of the size of your section. That's a 30-inch section. There's no doors, no single doors that are big enough for that. So we want to come down here. We want to choose left and right pair because that's what I'm going to need. Here they are. Here's all the pairs of doors that I 
have available to fit on this. And I don't know, let's do a pair of 35 inch tall doors. We want to add them to the lower section. Um, definitely have an insert fixed shelf um, and add door. And there's our doors. Now if I want to delete one of these doors, I would click on it and delete it, but I don't want to delete my doors. But I do probably want to come in here and put a few shelves in, in there because, you know, it's kind of missing some. Okay, so we want to come back to shelves to place a couple of shelves up here. Uh, we can do adjustable shelves, fixed shelves, shoe shelves, whatever you want. And we want them um, downwards. Just maybe two shelves in there. And we'll go ahead and hit, where's that? Insert shelves. There we go. There's my two shelves. Okay. But maybe I wanted a rod in here instead of shelves. I, mean, I don't know. I'm not a closet designer. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can click on that guy. Just going to move it straight up. You see, you got the nice dimensions in there. I suppose you want about at least 12 inches up there, give or take. All right. Whoops. Not supposed to move off the thing. Oh, I know why. Okay. But let's say I wanted to place a different shelf in there. So we're going to come down here. You'll have to bear with me here, real quick, because. I'm not sure exactly where everything is in this catalog. Um, okay, maybe I do know where it's at. Uh, panel, shelves, here we go. Uh, 19 inch deep shelves for this guy. Um, I got fixed shelves, adjustable shelves, we'll do fixed. And I can choose my shelf size. So in this case, this unit's a 30 inch, so I'd want to throw a 30 inch shelf in there, drop it here. Move it up and down, get it up there where I want it. Probably, like I said, about 12 inches, give or take. There we go. I'll close out of this. Make my panel here just a little bit bigger. Will help. Bunches. All right, so there we go. There's that. Now, if I want a rod in there, something else I gotta go find here. Let's see, rod. Pull down closet rod, valet rod, and the above. Oh, they're in here somewhere. Trust me. All sorts of little pieces and parts you can add. There we go, tube. We'll put that under tube. All right. Wardrobe tube kit, wardrobe tube, wardrobe tube supports, oval tube. I don't know the difference between an oval tube and a wardrobe tube. Um, but we're going to go to the kit for an oval. Um, we've got looks like we've got satin nickel, oil rub bronze. Um, but you want to look at the 18-inch kit, 24, 30-inch kit. There we go, 30-inch kit. Drop it in here, stick it up there, something like that, and there you've got a little hanging section. All right, so we kind of got this one here decorated up a bit. Going to move on, take a look maybe at, we'll move over here to our other closet, on the other side of the wall, so we're going to closet seven, edit closet, here it is. Um, probably just want a tube kit in that guy, so 30 inch tube. Go up in here. Probably want to add a shelf above that. Um, probably want a tube in this. Whoops. See, I, I tried to add it over here, but I didn't have it highlighted. Yeah, I do that a lot. So, anyways, I want to add it over here. And I'll need a 36 inch tube kit for that. There we 
we go. Probably delete this tube. Delete. Delete. There we go. So there's a couple of that. Um, oh, I know what we can add. This is a fun thing to add. We can add door, drawers. So drawer boxes, complete drawers, drawer fronts. In this case, of course, you want complete drawers, hardwood drawers, metal drawers available in this line. We'll do some 30-inch drawers. You can see the size. You've got 6-inch tall drawers, 7-inch tall drawers, and 11-inch tall drawers. So we'll start off with 11. Kind of drag it in there, drop it to the bottom. Maybe another one. There we go. Um, should we do three 11-inchers? And say a 6-incher. There we go. All right. Kind of, kind of screwy for the top of that, but come back in here. Let's say we do a 36 inch high, one 7 inch high. Whoops. See, there we go. Trying to put it in the wrong item again. There we go. These kind of snap together right there. So come back over here. Highlight this guy. Sometimes you spend more time fixing your mistakes than making your mistakes. But that's just the way it goes for me. Okay, so I've got those added in there. Um, you know, and you, you do this however you want. I probably have a retarded closet. And again, I probably have retarded clothes to go in my retarded closet. So I don't have enough clothes to fill up this little closet. All right, so there we go. There's our little closet there. Um, haven't done any shelves over here, so let's just come in real quick. Closet number six, edit closet. Um, we're just going to do fixed shelves, say, do about, oh, I don't know. We'll just do auto, 15 inches, 10 inches, I don't know. And insert shelves. That's a lot of shelves. A lot of shelves there. Um, and then you can add things to these shelves too. You know, you've got things like, well, let's do fix. We've done fixed. Shoe shelves. You can add a shoe shelf in here. We just want one shoe shelf. Um, interval 10 inch upwards. Because you'd actually probably could put a shoe rack on the bottom there. Put another shoe shelf right above it. Oops, action failed. Maybe we're only pretending to have shoe shelves. All right, but there's more doors and decorative frames that we can add over here. We can add clothes and stuff from our closet here. You can just drag and drop them in. Um, we can come in here and we can do, we can remove panels. So let's go to our section. Here's our panels. You'll notice on this one that there's no left panel because it's sharing the left panel with this one. So that would be a panel that's drilled on both sides. And our right panel shows us what our right panel is. We come in here and we could remove those panels if we wanted to. I have no reason to move it from my section here. But you could. You could remove those panels and set a different type of panel in there for whatever reason you may need. Um, let's see. What else we got going on here? Let's take a 3D of this bad boy and see what kind of closet we got. Alright, pretty basic closet yet. Don't have any fancy things in it. But ha we should probably line up our shelves. You know, you want to do the same amount of shelves on both sides there in a fixed shelf. So, oops, note to self. Um, but there's our closet rods in there. Closet rods back in there. All sorts of good stuff in this guy. So. You notice our doors aren't showing. That's because we haven't chosen a door style for them. Come in here and close. Maybe. Okay, so that's the basics of designing a closet. Um, there's lots of other things you can do in here. You know, you can. We didn't even touch things like our 
curved hut shelf. That's taking the end panel, you know, and it's like 14 inches at the top, curves in, gets wider at the bottom kind of thing, um, like if you're doing an actual hutch. Um, so that's available in there. Of course, you can place doors and drawers out of here. Lots of options. Lots of options for your um, stuff in here. And this is whatever, you know, whatever options are available from your manufacturing catalog. You can just drag and drop these out there. You've got shoe fences and, you know, clothes bags and, um, you know, pull out hampers and all sorts of fun stuff. Again, depending on what your manufacturer offers. But lots of fun stuff that you can put in these. Let's go ahead now and uh, we're going to open up a design, um, just about half of a closet that has all the goodies in it and stuff, just so you can kind of see what a finished closet would look like. Alright, here's a little design that I was playing with here the other day. And so we're just going to create a 3D. I know, don't be telling me there's no doors on this closet. I know, I know, it's just a little thingy. Just to show off. So we're going to create a 3D. So here's our little design, our little closet. You notice I paid a little more attention. I lined my corners up this time. Um, I got the wrong color piece in there, but, you know, not bad for not a closet designer, if you ask me. Um, but you see doors, drawers, fixed shelves, um, hangers. I've added some clothes to it, a little vase, some shoes. All those little things are in the catalog that you can add. So it's definitely a very functional, very useful little unit when it comes to creating your closets. So this has been the Pro Kitchen Closet Module Version 2 video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can use the information that you've gleaned from this to increase your sales. Thank you for watching.